What's happening? It's your boy Lil John getting the crunk BME click style on Pastor Mike TV. Yeah. All right, what's going on? I'm past the mic TV, and we are here with the one and only Lil John. How's it going, man? Yeah, yeah. what's happening? What's happening? I'm good. I'm good, man. It was a good night. Cool. So, is this your first time in Vancouver? Uh, third time. I was out here shooting um, Scary Movie Four. Yeah. Lil John, obviously a big influence on the music scene today. Um, maybe tell us a little bit about how you got into the business. Yeah, I mean, the main way I got in was DJing, which is what I did tonight. A lot of people thought I was gonna be here performing, but I was here DJing, and that's the foundation of hip hop, and that's the foundation of your boy Lil John, and that's what I put into like every record is is part DJ because I want to make records that make the crowd go crazy, make the club go crazy, and make DJs want to play it. So you're DJing tonight here at Plush. Obviously, you're known uh, as an artist and as a producer. I'm curious, your role as a producer, is it more focused on making the beats or are you involved in the whole process uh, from I'm, songwriting? I'm, I'm, I'm down with everything. Like, um, I might do the, do the beat and then when it comes to the songwriting, you know, I'm like, no, I don't like that idea. Or I come up with a line or two. Or I might come up with the concept and the writer goes with the concept. It's various different ways of, of, you know, making music. And when you're in the studio with somebody, it's it's a better vibe than if you just send them the track. You know what I mean? So I like to be involved in everything. But sometimes I just send them the track and they come up with their own thing and we come up with hits. You know what I mean? What is an artist that, uh, that you haven't worked with yet that maybe you'd want to work with in the future? Uh, Dr. Dre. I did some stuff with Jay-Z through Rick Rubin. Me and Rick Rubin was doing some stuff together and me, Rick Rubin, Chris Rock, and Jay-Z did a record together, which is hot. It's crazy. I guess he's gonna use it later on, like put some greatest hits or something. But um, really the only person that I used to listen to a lot when I was younger and I didn't work with is Drake. What do you think is the biggest misconception about Lil Jon? That I'm always loud and screaming. I ain't scream one time in this damn interview. I don't want to scream all the time. Like, I cannot be screaming and hollering and loud and crazy all day, every day. Like, I can't be taking a shit and be like, ah, yeah. I want to relax when I'm taking my shit. You know, I don't want to be peaceful. Um. <laughs> but you, you feel me though? Y'all feel me? So don't come up to me in the airport screaming and hollering at me. Just say, hey, how you doing? Like your music? I'm a fan. That's cool. You don't have to be screaming, yeah, what, okay, and it's okay. But I love y'all, though. I love all of y'all fans, and I appreciate the energy, but it's been like four years of y'all motherfuckers screaming at me. That shit hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get, I get cracked up, get broken up sometimes. But I love all y'all. Cool. Thank you, Lil John, here on Pass the Mic TV. Thank you. But.